Hello again, folks. Uh, today we're going to look at another survey meter. Uh, this was a donation from a social media subscriber. Uh, he was a former uh, Irish Civil Defence member and he had seen my video on the, um, the RD010 survey meter, which was, again was another Irish Civil Defence meter that I think I did, um, oh, must be the guts of two years ago now. Um, but he saw that video and uh, wondered if I'd like to add one of these to my collection. So the Gratz X, well, in the instructions it's called the X50B, um, but online I've looked up it says the X5B, so you can call it whatever you want. Um, I'm sticking with X50B. But the Gratz meter, uh, they make quite a few. There's, a, there's an older model of this. Uh, this sort of dates from the 80s and 90s. Uh, there's an older model from the 70s, um, which is green. Uh, with an external probe and uh, there's a later model as well that has the same connection that you see here and it is a digital meter digital readout and in fact it looks a lot like this meter here um, it's sort of in a silvery blue case uh, but it looks very very similar to this meter now in this configuration it just does gamma um, but with the uh, sort of input output jack here you can put either a probe directly into it or you can put the probe on a length of cable and there's a couple of different probes you can get that will do alpha beta do high range gamma and things like that there so very very versatile unit um it battery wise it's it's quite different in that it, it runs on AA batteries which for a meter like this is pretty rare um you know i've seen really it's only really recently that i've seen meters that are using triple a batteries you know such as the sort of the you know the radius scan um, uses AAA batteries, but you know I've never seen an old meter such as this just use normal batteries. So yeah, really really easy to meter to use. Um, obviously an analog display, and I'll bring it slightly closer to the camera so you can see. But if I turn it this way, you can see the blue. Now if it's blue or yellow, that is an external probe. And you can see, you know, the range that goes up to there's, you know, 10,000. The red, that is the internal. We're on uh, 0 0.5 to 10 millironcan. Uh, next one is then 0 to 100 millironcan. And then we have uh, 0 to 1,000 millironcan. And then we've got 0 to 50 ronken. And then we're back. So we've got a button here that you press to do a battery check. And then if you hold it harder, you can just see the little bulb there comes on. So a little backlight as well, which is quite nice. Uh, don't often see a backlight in a meter of this size and of this age. So if we go back to the first milliwonkin, which is zero, gives it a 0 0.5 scale, up to 10. And I run it on a piece of pitch blend. We're sort of in about 30 there, or three. And as with all pitch blend, some sides are more radioactive than others. And I think it's about this corner here, I think, in this one. So see that one, that's going up to sort of two, three, yeah. Oh, got a bit higher, up to about 40 there. So if I run it with this, now obviously this is in Ronkin and this is in Microsievert. So as I sort of move it around, I want to see how close this is to this in terms of sensitivity. Because it could be that that has a more sensitive Geiger Miller tube in it. Okay, so it's giving me about 20 microsievert there. And obviously if I'm converting um, millironcan into Yeah, 
it's hard to get the actual, I think that little dot there is where the actual tube is. And I just noticed it, it is seem, don't seem to be working, but it's very, very erratic in terms of, you know, where the needle goes to. But yeah, it is going up sort of around the two to three um, millironcan. So that's, you know, equates to two, 20 or 30 microsievert. So what I'll do, what I've, I've done as well is it's got quite a strange jack um, for the headphones. You can see there it has basically a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, uh, which it's larger than standard, but with a little bit of bulging, I've been able to use my headphones from the DP5V. And what I can do here is with uh, that little power adapter, I can plug that in there. And then what I'll do is with that plugged in, I'll put the bit of pitch blend. Now this is quite a strong piece I have over here. Well, that is quite a beautiful piece now. And I'll show you it on this one. You know, it's the guts of a hundred microsievert. So I will put my headphones up to this. And you should hopefully be able to hear that clicking. And the display is fluctuating between 60. Yeah, the readout's given me about between, as the wind outside nearly takes away all my garden furniture. <laughs> uh, so I'll do a quick jump cut here and I'll bring the camera a bit closer so you can see it. Okay, I've got the. A little handheld tripod here so you can see this a little bit better. So I'll keep the uh, headphones up near the microphone. So you can see there it's fluctuating between sort of 7 millironcan and I've seen it go up as high as 10. There's it over 10 millironcan. So we're between sort of 70 and 100 microsievert. With this piece of pitch blend here which is you know look at that for a lovely lovely example of pitch blend um that's one of my highest sort of sources of gamma well pure gamma uh the strontium 90 source uh from the dp2 uh that gives me about 700 microsieverts in gamma um so <laughs> I do intend to do a video of, of that soon, but uh, yeah, nice meter. I mean, you can get a box set. I mean, these are pretty rare to sort of see in the wild um, and things like eBay and stuff, but I have seen a sort of box set where you get the little sort of over the ear single headphone and you get a range of probes, cable, um, sort of battery pack and things like that there and sort of sample boxes, a wooden box that comes in. But uh, this was the sort of standard kit for our civil defence during the sort of latter part of the Cold War. And they used them up until fairly recently. Um, they only really, really have recently replaced them with sort of a, a digital meter. Uh, again, with external probes. But yeah, nice meter. Really, really like it. And uh, I'm glad I have one now in the collection. And yeah, if I can get an external probe for it, that would be pretty good. Um, I have asked our civil defense if they have a couple of probes, maybe going spare, because obviously this has been retired, this unit now. So um, I'm hoping that they possibly have some surplus probes, possibly maybe an earphone as well. So we'll see what happens there. If any of those turn up, I will make another video on it. But uh, yeah, um, I will get another video up as soon as I possibly can. Unfortunately, I have a family member who's not very well at the moment and um, it's finding time to sort of balance home life, work life and, uh, and, and that is proving quite difficult and making a video, obviously. 
But um, I have another meter to show you and that will be coming up as soon as I possibly can. Uh, it's a modern unit from Canada, uh, digital um, Alpha Beta Gamma. Uh, really, really nice little meter. I've been playing about with that. There's an iPhone app and there's an Android app as well. So yeah, that will be coming up very, very soon. But listen, folks, as always, thank you very, very much for watching and uh, I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.